Yo, what's going on, people? Today we're going to be taking a look at the new changes to pistols. Uh, they received a rate of fire increase, and the overall recall system kind of has been redone. For this video, I'm going to be showing uh, just five different types of pistols. I'm not going to do before and after for every pistol in the game. You know, that doesn't really make any sense to be showing you that. But uh, yeah, before I get into the video, I just want to let you know, you PS4 users, yesterday you would have seen another patch that was to fix the ping issue because people were connecting to the wrong data centers but because of this um, they're actually going to extend the exclusivity of new DLC characters so instead of next week Tuesday you'll be getting the new operators on next week Thursday that will be the 14th yeah it sucks I know and but at least we get a 50% renown booster until Friday so there's also that. So let's get into the video. The first pistol we'll be covering here today will be Blackbeard's uh, Desert Eagle. On the left side is before the patch, on the right side is after. And the rate of fire has been increased as well as well the recoil hadn't been adjusted. So you can actually see where you're shooting. On the left side it is fucking horrendous. You can't even see who you're shooting at because his hand is in front of the entire screen as well as the gun. So that kind of blocks out your entire view. But on the right side it is actually a lot better. I mean, the gun still has a lot of recoil, but you can at least see where you're still shooting. And they also kind of changed the iron sight. As you can see, they kind of got rid of those little green dots. And they're just one kind of red line in the center now. Um, not really sure why they did this, but uh, yeah, it doesn't really affect me too much. Next up is the Magnum that the GIGN carries. It, it, pretty much the same thing as the Delta Eagle. On the left side is just terrible the entire gun just kicks up you can't see where you're shooting so spamming this doesn't really make sense but on the right side it's the recoil is still bad but again you can see where you're shooting also that rate of fire increase you can empty these six shots extremely quickly and i'm going to discuss that rate of fire thing after the third gun is actually ella's pistol which is the first pistol in the game which actually has a red dot sight on it but I never used to use it because I couldn't see where I'm shooting. On the left side, the dot just completely disappears once you start firing too quickly. And the smoke just added to the fact that you, yeah, you couldn't really see what the hell you're shooting at. And you're going to see a reoccurring theme here. Left side, you can't see where you're shooting. Right side is 10 times better. So I think I'll just skip ahead and just jump straight on over into the discussion. For the most part, I'm glad they changed how the pistols work. Especially the recoil part. And... The rate of fire for certain guns, yes, but I don't think they should have applied both to every single gun. Their reasoning was that pistols were an afterthought and people only used them to spam after they ran out of ammo for their primary, which is true, because I only use my pistols to shoot out cameras, other than that, I never use them. They wanted pistols to be more lethal and not be an afterthought, so they increased the rate of fire for every pistol, as well as changing how the recoil would look. It kicked back more instead of kicking up as you can see. Now here's the thing, some pistols were already very lethal such as Blackbeard's uh, Desert Eagle or the Magnum. These kind of uh, high caliber weapons I think should have only gotten the recoil change and not the rate of fire increase because Blackbeard pistol shot pretty quickly already. Uh, Ella's pistol also shot pretty quickly that didn't need the rate of fire increase as well as the SAS pistols those shot pretty quickly. So I think they should have mixed and matched certain guns would only get rate of fire increase and certain guns should have only gotten the recoil change. When I say certain guns should have only gotten the recoil change, um, there is one person in particular I have in mind which is actually Kavira. This change actually affects Kavira's pistol as well and this is you know kind of part of her whole gadget and ability thing and I don't like this for the fact that well one I already hate Kavira. I, I mentioned that before. I fucking hate Kavira. She's the bane of my existence. If you're a Kaveri man and you're watching this, just know I despise you. <laughs> in all seriousness though, um, I don't think this should have affected her pistol because when you have such an effective operator such as Kavira, who is pretty much a close quarters combat god or goddess, however you want to look at it. I know some Kavira mains are probably pretty happy with this change because they're going to get even better. I don't mind that. Like, If you take a certain amount of time to get good at playing an operator, then that is fine. My problem is that the other end... Um, is that she's now pretty easily accessible to those new beginner players, you know, like this pistol is too damn stable right now, so pretty much anyone can pick her up and be good. And here's my point, I bought Kavira yesterday to prove this point, I've never played her a day in my life. Look at this. They seized the testing to secure the container. Biohazard container 
take out the hostile. Prevent further access to the biohazard. Stop the hostiles from securing the container. Protect the biohazard container. Friendlies victorious. Hostiles eliminated. That should not be able to happen. Like, you know, it should take some time to get good at a character or operator what they do. But when you make a pistol so deadly, so easily accessible to anyone, it's gonna be a problem. I mean, I'm not a beginner at the game, but I am a beginner at that operator. I, like I said, I've never used her. But this could be a problem. I can tell you right now, if her pistol was not changed, I would not have hit half of those shots. I'm not gonna lie. My aim is good, but it wasn't. It, it isn't that good. So I think they need to tweak that. Even if they don't send it back to how it was before, at least find a midpoint so um, anyone just can't take her up and use her. And you know, just it should take some time to get good at certain operators, I think. And lastly, because that was negative, we're gonna end off with the positive. The people who I think will benefit the most from these pistol changes are actually the shield ops because yeah, that's their that's their only gun. Especially Blitz, he is the more offensive type shield operator. And I started back playing with him because I can actually see where I shoot. So yeah, this is going to be very beneficial to those people who like to play shield ops. You don't have to spam in a general direction and hope to kill someone. You can pinpoint exactly where you're shooting and I love this. But yeah, I definitely think we might be seeing some more shield operators being played because of this pistol change. And yeah, I think that's going to be it for this video. What are your thoughts on some of the points that I mentioned? Do you agree that Kavira's gun should be tweaked and not be so easy to use that anyone can just pick her up? And uh, yeah, what are your thoughts on these pistol changes overall? If you enjoyed this video, you can leave a like or share it around. It helps the channel grow. And uh, subscribe for more Rainbow Six Siege videos. I have some more DLC content dropping next week. So subscribe and stick around for those. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.